now in an effort to help our furry friends find their forever home. We're partnered with the Chautauqua County Humane Society and my favorite segment, it's the Pet of the Week. Joining us live is Amanda Sublet to talk more about this week's featured furry friend and it looks like it's nap time there on Strunk Road, Amanda. <laughs> It is nap time. I would love to show you how sweet and friendly she is, but most people or cats don't like being woken up when they're napping. So we're gonna let her rest. Her name is Pixie. She's about a year old, an absolute sweetheart. Like I fell in love the first time I met her because she's so easygoing. The kind that's going to do really, really well with small children because they allow that type of handling that little kids get a little crazy with. She loves people and loves affection. Um, I haven't seen her play yet. That doesn't mean she won't, but she's definitely the type to follow you around and be involved in everything that you're doing. So if you're looking for somebody social, she's the girl for you. Yeah, definitely looks like it. And we were joking uh, during the break that uh, I love these these live shots you guys produce uh, right there in her element. And it looks like she gets along with the other cats pretty well. Yeah, she actually does really well. She hasn't had any problems with anybody here. She did come to us with a litter of kittens, so that's part of the way that we know she does well because she socialized well with them. She was a really good mom and took good care of them. Uh, they have all since found their home, and now it's her turn. Absolutely. So uh, you mentioned that she might be a good cat to, to introduce with kids. And I know we talked about this last week a little bit about the importance of, of teaching uh, young members of, of households uh, about animals and, and how to treat them. Um, with having such a laid back cat, it seems like she might be the, the perfect fit for a situation like that. She really would be. Um, actually, since adopting my own cat, my two-year-old, has taught me even more so about how all of the ways that little children can treat cats. It's not always the friendliest, but it's a, a matter of learning. And I think she can handle that really well. Uh, one of the first times I picked her up, I gave her a nice big hug and she just curled right up and loved every second of it. And if she can enjoy that, I think she can handle a lot more too. Absolutely. Who's the guy in your lap? It looks like he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's ready to yeah. steal the show. We met him a few months ago. This is Charlie Barley. He's and about he four years old. He loves attention. He'll follow you anywhere you go around here. He's a social guy and he's really looking for the right home and he needs that special home because he's had bad luck right now. Hopefully. All right, well, absolutely. So our friend Charlie Barley and can't forget about Pixie, even though uh, she's kind of sleeping on the job here. I guess she didn't get the memo today. Uh, but uh, again, to learn more about any of the furry friends that uh, we are showing off here at the Chautauqua County Humane Society, it is so easy. You can log on to chqhumane.org, or you can even give them a call if that's uh, more your style, 665-2209. Um, and uh, we're showing a couple of pictures just to show off Pixie a little more. And you see how friendly she is there with Brian at the Humane Society, you know, uh, giving him kisses. So, it, folks, she definitely looks like a great cat um, uh, looking for a great home. So, uh, Brian and Amanda, we thank you so much for your time today. Um, again, chqhumane.org is the place to be um, in order to uh, learn more about these uh, cats and uh, dogs. And they have a, a, great, uh, a great level of uh, uh, resources and information on there too. And uh, I, I, I think I should take a, a play out of Pixie's handbook, Dakota, and uh, get, get ready for a nap. I mean, you, you, <laughs> you well, can't get any better. Well, you know, I posted in the comments section you know, I posted it because, you know, she woke up for her nap briefly to, yep. to itch. So I said, gotta love it when an itch wakes you up from your royal nap. <laughs> yeah.